Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading the story, A Nazi and Turtle Go to Dinner. Written by, or retold by, Bobby and Sherry Norfolk, illustrated by Baird Hoffmeyer. After reading the story, I'm gonna model and show you a retelling that emphasizes the beginning, middle, and end of the story, including story elements. A Nazi and Turtle Go to Dinner. One evening, a Nazi was sitting down to dinner when Turtle came to his door. A Nazi knew the law of the jungle. If you have company and you have food, you must share the food with your company. Come in, Turtle. You're just in time for dinner, a Nazi sighed. Turtle sat down. Thanks, a Nazi. How are you? Turtle reached for a bowl of yams. I'm fine, answered a Nazi, but Turtle, your hands are very dirty. You know you can't sit down to dinner with dirty hands. Please go wash them before you eat. Turtle looked sadly at his hands. They had gotten very dirty on the long walk to a Nazi's house. Oh, you're right, a Nazi. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Turtle slowly crawled off to wash his hands. As soon as Turtle was out of sight, a Nazi ate as fast as he could. He ate peanut soup, rice and beans and meat. Slurp, slurp, gobble, gobble, munch, crunch, burp. When Turtle got back, the bowls and plates were nearly empty. Anansi, you've been eating all of the food, Turtle said unhappily. Well, Turtle, you are very slow. I had to eat it before it got cold. But there's plenty left. Help yourself, said Anansi. Thanks, a Nazi. I'm really hungry. Turtle reached for the bowl of rice. Wait, cried a Nazi. Your hands are still dirty, Turtle. Turtle looked at his hands. Yes, they were dirty again, because he had crawled back to the table across a, Nazi, a Nazi's dirty, unswept floors. Oh, sorry, a Nazi. I'll be right back. Turtle crept back to wash again. Then he searched through his shell and found some nice soft slippers to keep his hands and feet clean. Then he started back as fast as he could go. But as soon as he was gone, a Nazi had stuffed the rest of the food in his mouth. Slurp, slurp, gobble, gobble, munch, crunch, burp. When Turtle saw the empty table, he cried, A Nazi, you have eaten everything. Turtle, I could not wait any longer. The food was getting very cold. Maybe next time you come to dinner, you'll wash your hands and get to the table on time. Turtle nodded slowly and left with an empty tummy. As he walked, his hungry tummy growled and his hungry mind began to work. Hmm, a Nazi tricked me. He got me to wash my hands twice while he grabbed up all the food. It's time to teach a Nazi a very important lesson. Turtle reached home, ate his dinner, and began to plan. The next day, a Nazi found an invitation in his mailbox to go to Turtle's house for dinner. All right, he cheered. Turtle is a great cook. A Nazi put on his best jacket and went to the edge of the pond. He saw Turtle down at the bottom of the pond, setting the table. I'm here, Turtle. I'm here for dinner, he called. Come on down, a Nazi. Your dinner is almost ready, answered Turtle. A Nazi jumped into the water, splash, but he didn't sink to the bottom. He just floated to the top of the water. A Nazi kicked all eight legs and bounced as hard as he could, but he could not make himself sink. Hurry, a Nazi. Dinner is getting cold, grinned Turtle as he watched a Nazi splashing above him. A Nazi climbed out and tried again and again and again. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splash. He could not sink to the bottom. A Nazi thought, aha, I know what to do. I have big pockets in this jacket. I'll put heavy rocket rocks in the pocket and I'll drop right to Turtle's house. A Nazi gathered big rocks and filled his pocket. Then splash, he jumped into the pond. Blub, blub, blub. 
He went down, down, down to the bottom of the pond where Turtle had set out a feast. This sure looks good, said Anansi, as he reached for a bowl of food. Wait, Anansi, cried Turtle. You know you can't sit down to dinner with your jacket on. Please take your jacket off. But Turtle, if I take my jacket off, you must take it off if you want to eat, said Turtle. Anansi slowly took off his jacket and hung it on the back of his chair. He popped right back up to the top of the water. Anansi floated and watched as Turtle ate every bite of the feast. He had plenty of time to think while he watched. Finally, he climbed out of the water and started back home. Turtle tricked me out of a meal just like I tricked him. I guess my mama was right. What goes around comes around. And that's the end of that. So boys and girls, here's my retelling for a Nazi and Turtle go to dinner. I have highlighted my beginning in green for go. I've highlighted my middle in yellow for slowing down and stopping and including some important events. And then I've included my ending in red. So I'm going to read it to you. Anansi was at home having dinner when Turtle came to visit. Anansi knew it was polite to offer Turtle some dinner, so he did. When Turtle reached for the yams, Anansi told him to wash his hands because they were dirty. After Turtle returned from washing his hands, Anansi had eaten most of the food. Turtle was going to eat some rice, but Anansi told him his hands were still dirty because he had to crawl on Anansi's dirty floor. Turtle washed his hands a second time and put on his slippers. When Turtle returned this time, Anansi had eaten all the food. Turtle knew that Anansi played a trick on him. So he decided to invite Anansi to his home in the pond for dinner. At first, Anansi floated on the water because he is a spider. So he filled his pockets with rocks to make him sink to the bottom. When Anansi arrived to eat, Turtle told him he needed to take off his jacket to eat. Without his jacket, with the rocks inside, he floated to the top. A Nazi could only watch as Turtle ate all of the dinner. A Nazi learned a valuable lesson. What goes around comes around.